in late 2020 with funding from the Bloomberg Philanthropies and the Gates Foundation, the International Legal Consortium, working with the O'Neill Institute at the Georgetown School of Law, embarked on an ambitious project, the design and development of a legal fellowship program in tobacco control law and policy. The fellowship program provided a unique and exciting opportunity for practicing lawyers from around the globe to learn from global experts and participate in a specially developed curriculum. This is our learning journey. 26 practicing lawyers were recruited to the program from 18 different countries. The global program commenced in May and the African program in September of 2021. 36 courses delivered training covering the full range of relevant topics with in-depth content. The training was delivered online using the latest teaching techniques and innovative training methods. Each course focused on a specific subject area and included a range of teaching methods, readings, relevant exercises, and live classroom discussions. It also included carefully produced self-paced units designed and delivered by both the ILC and the O'Neill Institute lawyers. Delivering the programme online meant we could invite external global experts to provide a series of tailored webinars and panel discussions. I'm Tim Dewhurst. I'm a professor in the Department of Marketing and Consumer Studies. Uh, I'm Phil Chamberlain. I'm the Managing Editor for Tobacco Tactics. I'm an economist, right? My name is Rebecca Pearl. And we brought the fellows together each week for live classroom sessions. After 12 months of state-of-the-art online training and a further six months of mentorship and supervision, each of the fellows began work on their individual research projects. Then, in November of this year, the 26 legal fellows traveled from across the globe to participate in a productive and highly successful week-long symposium in Cape Town, South Africa. The graduating fellows shared their ongoing legal projects and engaged in in-depth training on a range of legal issues and policy areas. We will talk about uh, one of the ways in which the government can actually help us prevent the prevalence or the increase of this problem. Yes, so in South Africa currently uh, we have a new tobacco control bill and we are currently advocating to ensure that this bill actually is passed. The fellowship programs were designed to strengthen legal capacity by creating a cohort of lawyers that have now joined existing tobacco control networks in their countries. The presentation of graduation certificates concluded the symposium and the fellowship programs. But the fellows are now high, a highly qualified part of the global tobacco control community, where they will continue to work on issues at the intersection of tobacco control and the law.